Hello everyone, today I'm going to keep this short and sweet. This is the missing link in Skinner's machine. I see a lot of people duplicate Skinner's machine and they do a very nice job, far better than I've done. They have a top weight, a gimbal, bottom weight is attached somehow. That's the thing. But they're missing the piece at the top, the lever, the missing link. So this sort of spins around in a circle. And then the weight, the centrifugal force and gravity cancel each other out kind of. So it's the weight can kind of move in and out a little bit. So then you put your load on here as this is spinning. The load pulls back and pushes your crank forward, your lever up here. So it's kind of complicated, kind of hard to understand in your mind. But you take your Skinner machine, you put this lever on top, then you attach it to something, you know, loosely. You'll notice the difference. And this here is my simple version, which I've shown before. I'll just show that again. So instead of turning the top, you turn the bottom. And once it reaches its limit that I talked about, about 60 RPM or maybe a little less than this one. You really can't get it to spin any faster. And it reacts weird when you put a load on it. When you put a load on it, it kind of, it's almost easier to put the input on it. So it has to be pretty heavy to get decent power out of it. Um, but you know, whether you go with this version or, you know, the complete version, top weight and bottom weight, you need this lever, right? So this force pulls back, right? And then it almost pulls forward on the lever. Very interesting.